by early learning in elementary education subcommittee, Representative Duran and Representative Gottlieb and others, CS for House Bill 173, a bill to be entitled, an act relating to care of students with epilepsy or seizure disorders. Representative Duran, you recognize to explain your bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This is the Individualized Seizure Action Plan and Epilepsy uh, Training in Schools bill I talked about yesterday. Are there amendments? Not on the desk, Mr. Speaker. In debate, Representative Davis, in debate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I just wanted to say to my colleague what, what an awesome piece of legislation this is. Um, coming out of a special education classroom, being there for seven years, the story I shared with colleagues in committee is a story I'll share here with you all. At a time when school personnel um, has no plans and no understanding of children with epilepsy and having seizures, I had that personal experience myself. Um, one of my students, um, Demetrius, um, would have regular seizures in our classroom. And just not knowing what to do as a young teacher, this legislation would help a lot. I did not know what to do, school personnel did not know what to do, and the only thing we could do was make that student comfortable um, and contact the parents. So unfortunately, Demetrius has passed. Um, uh, he was with his parents at the time he passed away, but the only thing I could think of when I heard that was what if he was at school when that situation happened? So thank you for this piece of legislation. Thank you for, for training and making sure school personnel, teachers, everyone around those children that are having this situation have a plan and they understand what to do. So thank you again, uh, Representative Duran, for this. I, a great piece of legislation. And I encourage all of my colleagues to be super up on this bill. Members, an additional debate. Representative Gottlieb. Thank you, Speaker. Um, I just want to say that I co-sponsored this. I didn't do any work on it. Nick did it. But I co-sponsored it because I love my son. My son has epilepsy. And I can tell you, even as a parent, the education that we get, it, it's, it's not enough. It's really important. Kids see this in school. Teachers see this in school. It's very difficult to understand what's happening to a person and to recognize a seizure. I know that Nick is committed. He's on the Board of Epilepsy of um, Florida. And your work in this area, it, it's tremendous. Epilepsy is overlooked very often um, for other diseases that harm people. And, and mentally, kids need to know that they can go to school, be in a safe environment, and that somebody's got their back if, God forbid, they have a seizure. I applaud your work. Thank you. Are there additional debate? Any additional debate? Representative Tant. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would like to also lend my voice of support for this bill just in the last uh, few days. Um, of Chris Kraft with the Chris Kraft car dealership here lost his 36-year-old son to epilepsy in his sleep. This bill, while it applies to the school district, parents and people with, it, with epilepsy are never out of the woods. And so I'm going to be voting for this bill today for my friend, Kelly, kick friends Kelly and Chris Kraft on behalf of their son, Chris Jr. And I ask everyone else to do the same. Thank you. Additional debate. Representative Durant, recognize the close. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to uh, thank a couple of people before I kind of finish up here. Representative Alupis, thank you for helping us launch in this committee, having your staff, uh, Adam Brink and his team, work on us getting this thing through the, the gauntlet. Uh, I want to help uh, thank Representative Perez for his help and his leadership. He also serves on the board uh, of Epilepsy Florida with me. Steve Shale, who I think is up here, has also been a part of this mission in, in getting us there. Um, but members, you heard it. Uh, there is a lot of folks at, throughout, what, throughout moving through this entire process. Uh, I have heard from you or, or your that f friends or your family have, have epilepsy. Uh, and if we know that there's about 17,000 students in our school system who their parents on a day-to-day -day, uh, are concerned and wondering if that happens there. This bill allows us to kind of create that la layer of protection uh, in our schools that, that will allow them to feel a little bit more comfortable uh, that their students are going to come back home safe that next day. Thank you very much. I hope you all vote. Up. Having closed on the bill, question now recurs on final passage of CS for House Bill 173. Click one lock machine. Members will proceed to vote.
168, zero nays, Mr. Speaker. So the bill passes. Read the next bill.